All right, so I have gotten done with Andarial farming. Got all of this stuff here. Wild Hunt, because of uh, physical, magical spell damage and fire damage, plus a little tow character defense and uh, life after kill. Queen of Glass, because of faster cast rate, decent dish defense, good boost of mana, and minus all enemy resistances. Police Verso, because of uh, mana and life after kill, nothing more, nothing less. And Orbiter because of uh, spell damage and FCR. And as a bonus, uh, um, all resists. This I'm going to make an honorific later on. This thing because of faster cast rate, fire spell damage, flat ener energy, and flat life, and minion damage. And we're going to make this a tier unique. Uh, one to skill levels, faster cast rate bit of fire resistance and minus enemy fire resistance. So that's my gearing, and now we're going to move on. See how much faster I'm casting already? Now I'm up to 10 elementals already with almost 700 health. So let's move on. Now unfortunately I don't have any, uh, any decent form of health regen, aside from uh, just killing stuff, which there's nothing wrong with getting life after kill, because life after kill is very, very viable. In fact, that's how the wolf druid survives, obviously. And yes, I have my drop notifier on. And uh, I've already, I've only recorded, recording this one one day after, uh, Oh, nice. Uh, one day after the previous segment, and there's already a bit of conflicting uh, arguments as to what to use. I've got in a few people saying, also, I didn't mean to do that, I just do that on instinct, um, to use Bloodstorm instead of Lava Pit, slash uh, Brimstone, I got a comment saying that Balefire is a good one-pointer and not uh, not a good max skill. Well, not really that it's not good to max, but that it could be a good one-point. It doesn't have to be maxed. I don't know. This could be inter This could actually be a pretty interesting one. Also, I have not made uh, um, Koth's lesson. The real reason is because I forgot, but normally I would have had that made, and I just, I realized right before I started recording this, or before beginning this segment, that this is the only Amazon I've done that actually doesn't benefit from increased physical damage to uh, mar uh, Bloodlust. I was going to say Mark the Wild which would be wrong, but yeah. So yeah, now I'm actually able to stay at good health, for now. So I can just hide behind stuff and just spam bail fire. Oh shit. Fuck. Fuck you ass. S or however you pronounce that. Uh Yikes. Yeah. Okay. So I refuse to farm Andarial enough at this point of the game to uh have enough to skip the um blood. Or skip a uh, maggot layer. Actually, I wonder. Now, uh, let me test this real quick. I wonder. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of all these for this test. Also, I like that the fire elementals are actually able to kill stuff. 
I never thought I'd see that. Okay, uh, let's... Did not mean to kill all of them, but okay. Ghost Wolf Reanimate is pretty much useless, but, uh... Okay, die off, please. Yeah, I could actually see Bloodstorm being better than uh, Lava Pit. Alright, uh, just get... Yeah. So far, for now, I'm gonna actually try uh, Balefire as the main attack, since it does way more damage. And just use Lava Pit against uh, Fire or Magic Immunes. With having a bunch of uh, minus Fire Resistance. There we go. <clears throat> so let's see what we can do here. I know I don't exactly have Tyson commentary at the moment. But again, I'm not just gonna talk for the sake of talking. Oh. Okay. Also, I'm on players one. Let me, uh, I think I'm going to change that. And just go back to players one once I pass from the arc through the arcane sanctuary. I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't have gone with players 8, maybe I should have gone with players 4 or 5 or something like that. So I already have 2,000 defense, which is good, but I can do better. I uh, will go player 6, actually. So, and of course we go back at Nalia. 
and then lava pit. By the way, if I find the full set of this thing, of this build, with the with this character, I will absolutely do a bonus segment with it. Because it is one of the more common sets I've noticed that keeps popping up. Also, as I say, I can barely hear the music. I will max uh, Defensive Harmony as well, once I get more uh, skill points. I could cheat and give... Because I duped uh, the Signets of Skill when I did the uh, Trap Rat Druid streaming. Actually, I think that was after the stream was over, but regardless, I duped Signets of Skill because they're way too rare. Um... So I could just cheat and do that. I won't. Or at least not until I get to the point where I could farm those. Okay, whoa, okay. So I'm gonna take this slow. I do want to go as far as I can before I die for the first time in the playthrough. I know, I did not die yet. Okay, so... I'll start leveling up these two stats once I get my base energy up to 50. I want to get everything up to tier 2 or 3 for level challenge 1. Or before level challenge one. So, and of course defense for base defense. I know later on I can, uh, I won't have to worry about that, but for now it's a requirement, basically. Okay, I can't spam bail fire over there for some reason. I guess because I guess they're on a because they're on a ledge. Okay. Uh. Oh fucking. Put the points in. Come on, finish them off.
There we go. Let me just... Okay, I'm just gonna use that one. And all's good. So, I'm gonna... So on that note... Actually, I think I'll turn it to Players 1 once I get to the uh, Arcane Sanctuary. Uh, okay. So I'm definitely going to need more Poison Resistance. There's just no ands, ifs, or buts about it. I should get cost less and regardless. All right, so I was still on player six. I just feel like just mowing everything down. All right, so all right, it's over here. This should take me all of about three minutes or less. Especially given that I can launch a lava pit from off screen. Okay, I didn't even realize I had killed him. Okay, so let's see. The down arrows.
So, I've I notice that these thing that these fire elementals benefit from curare. Um, does that? I guess that means that they can spread curare's damage around. Is that? Am I correct in assuming that? I mean, I don't plan to go for um. Curare is my uber skill anyway, but uh, um. If that is the case, that could be an interesting, uh, that could be an interesting theory build I could make. I, I plan to go for, uh, Spirit of Vengeance because of the fire magic and physical spell damage. I'll, and the, and the increase of, uh, life of, uh, how much? 25%, yeah. That's, yeah, I feel that's way better than your puny little fireballs doing some poison damage. Which is a good amount of poison damage, but still, they don't benefit from minus enemy resistance or anything like that. So, yeah. Also, what the hell? I noticed that earlier, that... Okay, I guess that's that gift of vanquishing when I... when the character glows. Goodbye. Alright, so... I'm betting I kill Duriel, like, immediately. <clears throat> I'm betting it'll literally be like a 10 second battle. Alright, let's count, shall we? Okay, ready, set, go. One, two, three. Okay, that was three seconds long. That was an excellent battle, I must say. Where are you? There it goes. Now... Now, Spirit of Vengeance... That aura does not uh, give you health regen, does it? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I've only ever used it, like, once. Now it's back in the ultimative era when you can use the cheese judgment day with boas on strategy which i don't even know if that works anymore it probably doesn't so and once again i refuse to do any editing in this in this segment nor and i refuse to do any more uh, and aerial farming but when i end the segment i will off screen uh I will off screen getting to uh, Mephisto, because nobody needs to see this fetch quest, because although it's uh, though it's nowhere near as bad as in uh, the vanilla D2, it is still really obnoxious, and basically, every, basically everyone who's ever remembers how bad it was is traumatized from how bad it is. So. Also, I need to learn to have Bloodlust active more often. Hi, Marble Frog. Okay. Although I will, uh, 
I will collect Kalim's eye, probably, real quick. Ah, did not mean to do that. Oh, duh. Trying to use Balefire on a magic immune. No good. Also, this is a really shitty fucking... fucking jungle roll, isn't it? So, I'm pretty sure... I imagine that Caress 3000 won't be so bad, actually. I can probably just use Fire Lava Pit and then, uh... Bloodstorm or Brimstone or whatever I use in mid game. I may as well get the Jade Figurine while we're at it. <laughs> I will all... <sighs> Oh, it's over here. I should probably just get Bloodstorm off my uh right mouse button if I don't plan to use it. <laughs> So, like I said, I'm going to get everything up to tier 3, or try to, before I get level challenge 1 completed. And I'm going to max, uh, or try to max defensive harmony in the meantime, just to slow down anything attacked by uh, my summons. Also, that's not optimal. Yeah, talk about a shitty roll of this place. Mm -hmm. oh, don't mind me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Marbled frog. I can only, yeah, I can, I can tell once I get to Infernal Cave that I'm gonna get pissed off and want to break the damn game, the damn computer when I get there because fucking Darkness Falls will happen and I won't be able to cast anything. Oh, that's gonna suck a massive dick. I'm just not bothering. Just in case I get killed randomly. Ah.
I'm liking that I have over 2,000 defense with just tier 1 items as a caster. Flare jungle. And I think I'll end the segment once I make it to the lower Karast waypoint, which I have a tendency to do, but, uh, you know. Uh oh. Okay. But, you know, it's a good place to end, honestly, so. And it's. This one is. I know the last segment went an hour. But I just felt like doing more and more shit. What can I say? I'll fucking do this since it's here. If I get enough uh, elixirs of um, what are they? Or belladonna extracts together and cheat, I may experiment with lava pit versus bloodstorm, so I can make a good uh, side by side comparison off screen determine what to use. I'm still thinking brimstone will be better than either either choice. Okay, so that's done, and I wish I was an assassin so I can just uh, teleport through this garbage, but whatever. Actually, I think I'll just off screen, like right before the Mephisto, up until right before the Mephisto fight. I feel that would be a bet the best place to end this seg- er, start the next segment. What the fuck? Well, I, I should not be going that way. Okay. 
noticing one potential fire problem with Bale Fire here is that it does not like to trans to teleport through stuff like this. Very like not all the time, so it'll be a little bit iffy, especially if I'm trying to like specifically target something. Right, right here. Well, that's a bad example, but like if I was trying to target something behind a swarm of uh, magic immunes, for example. And I'm pretty sure you can tell that I'm slowly transitioning to using Lava Pit as my main attack. Since it seems to be better here. So I'm actually astonished I survived Miasma that well with, like, literally no fire, no poison resistance. Oh, oh. I need to switch between skills more frequently. Or get better at it. So... And just memorize what's immune to what. And there we go. So I will see you guys at Mephisto.